Hello everyone and welcome to Bot 49. Today is the 15th of November. Let's talk about some news. So Trump has announced his some of his cabinet picks. We have um, Marco Rubio as Uh, is it Secretary of State? So he will be replacing Blinken. Um, Marco Rubio has been a hawk against Russia, China, Iran, and Venezuela and Cuba. So significant win for the neocons there. I think it's inevitable that the US, far from being able to escape any of the wars its previous governments have, uh, the, that the Biden admin has been uh, courting or marching the US towards, it is going to become um, I think it's inevitable that it will become embroiled in these conflicts. It is astounding that Donald Trump has, what is it, it's only about been two weeks, a little over two weeks since the presidential election and he's managed to so fundamentally screw his base. He was partly elected on an anti-war footing and he has filled his cabinet with complete antithesis of that policy. I think this will come back and bite the Republicans hard during the midterms. It may be that Donald Trump has, he's not even a quarter of a way towards, um, sorry there's a main road next to, to the path unfortunately, that is the way with many paths in Britain. Yes, he is, uh, within a fortnight, he has managed to co to betray his base. And uh, I think he may have just handed the midterms to uh, the Democrats on a plate, diffracted it from them and everything. This will turn out pretty badly for Donald Trump in the long run, or even the short run. And Republicans as well, I think. I think there will be some major unrest as a result of this and the economic crises that the US will be facing in the near future. When people talk about there not being a, an ex-presidential election, yeah, I think those odds have increased considerably since Thursday. Yeah. This path of the week. But yeah, I, I think uh, it'll be unavoidable. Trump may pick up on these anti war sentiments from his, his base and uh, the average American he associates with, but I know he has no, he has even less capacity to understand the political environment he's in than the average politician. And he's very easy to play. So looks pretty bad for the US. Um meanwhile across the, the Pacific you have the um I'm probably going to butcher the name here. Oh, what is the Zhaohai Air Show in China, where the country is showing off some of its latest military innovations and products. Um, and not just China, but Russia as well. I think some of their new aircraft are being are on display there as well. And it's not aircraft explicitly. Uh, I think they've also been displaying, China has some of its new 
uh, its new autonomous I think it's like a destroyer or a corvette it's like a small ship that can uh, have uh, um, like a helicopter on the back and it's got a main gun on the front you know not one of those old um, cruiser cr guns from a cruiser or a battleship but it's like one of those modern water cooled auto cannons or whatever um, what else um, yep they've also been displaying their uh, uh, Chinese companies been displaying their new sort of a uh, if you know Boston Dynamics and their little robot dogs, they've got China has it, this company has its own version of that, which they've been displaying, complete with guns and I think some of them even are even said to have the ability to fire RPGs from the backs of them. Oh, this is... Yeah, um, and a new next generation fighter aircraft was also displayed at this event. So, hmm, I think that's about it for this video, didn't have, oh and one other thing I also wanted to cover was, um, I can't remember his name, I really should have written this down, but uh, Trump's new Secretary of Defense, the guy who's replacing, replacing Lloyd Austin, is, um, Hopefully I'll, show, I'll stick the video in here. To that end, AAC just rolled out a new line of AK-47 ammo. That's <laughs> Okay, so he's holding up this ammo box that he's trying to sell on the 4th of July. Uh, this is our SecDef nominee. Um, anyways, the logo for this like saber ammunition has two palm trees and two cross sabers. So that looks really Saudi to me. Just an observation. I love how he's running an ad. I love how he's running an ad. Quite literally though. That's right. Moving because on. Russian ammo is now banned. So now you can buy American made 762. That's what I'm talking about. Check the text below for more info. Um, Lloyd Austin does. Um, Lloyd Austin, you get the impression that he's a person who's put in a position where he keeps being asked to make war plans against this country, that country, and that country. And he has this, he's aware that he has this increasingly diminishing arsenal and that he's not actually able to accomplish any of these tasks. I don't think that Trump's choice is lucid enough to be able to tell the president that no, we can't do any of these things, let alone all of them. So I think the restraints, the material restraints on American power will not be observed and they'll just do these things, they'll just start these conflicts anyway without any... Some of them will, I think will be started without any real thought about how you finish them and they will I imagine the US will get into positions where it may be tempted to have to use nuclear we to use nuclear weapons simply to get to try and get itself out of the situation so I think the odd I don't think the odds of a total global nuclear catastrophe are high in the next in the coming four years but I think the the, the result, I think it's, I would say the probability of a nuclear weapon being fired in anger uh, uh, for the, ne in the next four years is very, very high, very high. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day. Bye.